Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got a look at the solar storm that happened overnight. It was not as impactful as it could have been due to relatively low density in the stream. We'll also see Solar Orbiter tracking energetic electrons from the sun and an excellent short piece on geopathic stress. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find it was pretty quiet up there. Solar flaring has dropped out despite the high sunspot number. No significant eruptive events over the last day. But we were waiting for one, weren't we? In the afternoon hours of the west, it arrived. Strong front side geomagnetic compression of the CME, ground magnetic perturbations as well, but the solar storm never quite got strong enough to have a dramatic impact on induced electric currents. That's another thing that higher density solar wind does better than what we saw last night. Here is the solar wind data, and the jump cut in the data curves is where the CME arrived. Not at all difficult to spot, but the yellow panel plasma density shows only a small increase. Most of the more impactful CMEs have density marks two to five times higher than this one. And that's why, despite some solid speed to the shockwave, we only briefly hit level 2 geomagnetic storm conditions. While a reverberation may occur today, we have probably seen the worst of this event. Interestingly, the coronal hole kind of snuck up on us, didn't it? Really lacking the full visibility in the other wavelengths, like a big triangle. This one will be facing Earth middle of the week and is likely the source of the next space weather event. Interesting infographic from the new Solar Orbiter data release here. They're showing how powerful electrons released from the sun behave differently based on their source. A solar flare creates a rapid rise, impulsive event, while a CME creates a more gradually building rise in energetic electrons. It's important for understanding the dynamics. And lastly, folks, excellent short piece on geopathic stress in the new Premier Architecture textbook. This describes how changes in Earth's magnetic field impact human health, building strength, road integrity, and construction and traffic accidents, and how this can be considered to try and lessen those effects with good surveying and building techniques. Sadly, when the planet is in a magnetic pole shift like we are now, this may be a little bit moot. Too little, too late. At Observer Ranch, we have several more big events before the year ends. Head over to ObserverRanch.com to check out the event list and book your stay. November, very jam-packed. We'd love to see you out there. We'd love to shake your hand. Several major events coming before the end of the year. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.